folks, we're late. Anything new there? Not really. So now, gotta try and pinch this trailer into this little hidey hole. And uh, we're going to buy something cool today. And you're gonna have to stay tuned to see what that is. But you're really gonna like it. You need to get fuel and we're driving to uh, Brandon, Manitoba. We're really late. It sucks. Ladies and gentlemen, so we didn't really film much there in the last little while, but uh, we were in a bit of a rush. Uh, we are currently in Saskatchewan. Not sure where because it all looks the same. Um, yeah, we're about four and a half hours away from Brandon, Manitoba, where we're meeting up with the guy to go pick up the uh, vehicle that I'm purchasing. And it's snowing, sleet, rain thing. Uh, it's like it's. it's I don't know what it is. I think it's snowing, sort of. Yeah, so that's 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 about it. There's nothing exciting to see. Moose took a really long piss earlier. That was funny. Um, I tried to make him pee a couple times there. He didn't want to. And then finally we stopped at the gas station. He was a uh, good 30-minute piss. I don't know why I'm telling you about my dog pissing, but uh, that was the most exciting thing I think that's happened in the last five, six hours. We'll see you when we get to Brandon. Well, so it's the next day. Pull over to the side of the highway for a quick nap to poo here. Um, ooh, I guess I better show you guys what I bought, eh? I would love to introduce you guys to my Jeep Honcho. Oh, isn't that sweet? You betcha. So we got the two Twister replica vehicles. I mean, obviously this is going to need a grill and stuff because it's a 78, not early 80s like the one was depicted in the movie. But and that's a Cummins and not a V10, but that's fine because this thing gets crazy good mileage. All I need, all I need to do is paint it red, put all my accessories that I've got for it, and um, I haven't really talked about this one in any videos lately at all. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more in-depth videos on both of them, I guess. But the plan was to make Twister replicas. That's what I, it's my favorite movie. Always has been. I own a General Lee. That's my other favorite freaking series so i want to generally and the, the two vehicles from twister but this thing right here you know how hard these are to find man these honchos oh my goodness gracious it's crazy hard got some extra parts in there windshields all pushed in because some kids kicked it out that's that's awesome not not recently but it's starting to rain so that's sweet but um yeah it, it's it's awesome I'm, I'm very very happy and i got it for a great great deal I had to drive well, better part of 22 hours on our trip to come get this thing. It's a little, a little bit uh, on the rougher side inside. Floors and shit. I mean, it's only really right here. A couple little pinholes there. But I'll rip the carpet out. We'll vacuum it out real good. Clean everything up. Get some missing stuff. Missing some latches. You can see people just rob shit, right? This thing was sitting out in the field. So. It is what it is. But. There you have it, folks. That is why I drove to Manitoba. I don't want it myself. So, we're gonna go get some food. I don't know really what I'm gonna film from this point forward, but my dog's probably gonna piss. And we gotta get some shit rolling here. But stay tuned for whatever the hell else I film. <laughs> yeah, buddy! Oh, update. Quick update. I'm at a place you may know of. I can't words right now, but I'm gonna turn the camera and I'll let you figure it out on your own. Look at this friggin' filthy dirt squirrel. The one and the only DD Speed Shop. <laughs> what is the get tip it, of the day? <laughs> it's not I know that you long. got one. No, I, I got nothing. The trick is to have friends all over Canada to bring you junk. Exactly. Look See, we just did a hot delivery, hot shot delivery. Like Fifteen hundred kilometers for a, a box of miscellaneous tri five junk that was going to get thrown out. Look at that. Yeah. It's worth. It's worth what I'm paying you. I'll tell you that. Which is nothing. A t shirt. <laughs> you got a t shirt. That, 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 yeah, two t shirts. That's you good enough for me. Price on t shirts. So Dan, give a quick uh, rundown of what you got sitting in the driveway here, buddy. Well, so this 
57 Chev. This is actually Danny's, my old ladies. So it's LS powered, four door, two door swap, whatever. This thing's a ripper, it's pretty cool. And then uh, all this other stuff. So I love tri fives, right? So we got a 55 Chevy, so it's like a two lane blacktop style car. Big block tunnel around the whole deal. Love that thing. This I just got on the road this year, 68 satellite, 440, whatever. And then uh, I'm in the process of doing this wagon. So 56 four door plain Jane wagon. But uh, well, actually, this this also the hood came in the with the package. But I got a tunnel ram, big block 454 in it. See, Mopars make the best shelves. Yeah, they do. I know that because my Charger's been one for the last five years. So this thing will be a ripper. That's all done. A little tire fryer. I don't know. We got this actually for uh, hauling the dogs around. Oh, Never sweet man, I love it. I love. Car. I've always had a love for wagons. And then you've got one more. And then we got yeah, this uh, '74 Challenger that uh, I picked this up last year for the next race car. So I've been uh, slowly but surely just shaving off just enough of the race car that I can uh, drive it on the street. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's a nightmare. Like it was, it had no charging system, no nothing in it when I got it. So I had a parts car. I've kind of gone through that. It had like. Uh, it, yes, uh, cooling system. Yeah, the old vinyl top. It's still there. That's, no, no. That, that's impressive, especially for being in Manitoba and with the, the conditions that you guys have in the wintertime. I Why mean, mind this you, thing, this thing was obviously a drag car for a long time, so it, was, it didn't really see winters. It was a drag car its whole life, and then uh, it sat in a barn for a lot of years, and then the barn fell on it. So on this side, it's all KO'd, like the roof's all mangled and stuff. Oh, it is, yeah. And actually here, it's like... Oh, I that's fine. This was like KO'd in right here. And I actually, so like the drag bar or the roll bar goes, I put a little pour power in there and just <laughs> pushed her out. She was good. She'll go. So it's not too bad. And then, yeah, so it's barn fell on its outside for like 10 years. Well, after Dan with too much money and not enough brains. You know I'm a Mopar guy, so I'm partial. You're, you're easy to please. I mean, I'm very easy to please uh, and to entertain as well. <laughs> but, uh, folks, this is the famous DD Speed Shop. Dan, yeah. thank you for the tour. We'll do the we'll do the the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Well, fist bump. Well, thanks for coming down, dropping everything off. I appreciate it. And he's no taking problem. stuff away, which works out good. I, yeah, I'm, I get I'm to bring losing, this back. Losing more room than I'm getting though. Wow, well, that's okay. You got a really sweet hood now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put it on the Dodge maybe. That scooter would look good. It looks way just bigger. Just right like that. that. Just just rib it. It's bigger in person. I've never said that before. But the <laughs> angles of the pictures I was sent of it made it look smaller. You know. That happens. Usually it's the other way, in my experience. It is. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. All kinds of room in there for birds. It'll look ridiculous on a wagon. <laughs> you're gonna paint it? Yeah. You're yeah, gonna, like you're gonna try and paint the patina? Yeah, this, well this hood and this fender, both fenders actually, patina match the car. Wicked. So, I'll do the same thing. You never know when you quick release hoods, right? Yeah. No, that works. <laughs> well, we're in Manitoba. I know we're not supposed to be, but... There's no rules here. There's no rules, it's, man. Uh, there's only rules if you think there's rules. It's like April 1st or something like that, so there's no rules. The funny thing, March? it's just a late upload. It's like a stop sign. It's just a suggestion. Yeah, you don't have to kidding. stop, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, so uh, it turns out we made a little pit stop here. I haven't really been filming much because uh, driving, sleeping, not much to see. But we're in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan right now. and. Uh, Still got the honcho and job, but I just bought this thing for 120 bucks. Nice mint tailgate. It's got a couple stacks on it, but it's still got the plastic on it. And the one that I got on there is pretty rough. That's, uh, that's, 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 that's no good. So we're going to swap this out real quick here.
like this. If you followed me for a long time, you'd know that uh, I've got a really big love for the movie Twister ever since I was a kid. Um, it just so happens that a movie prop, well not a prop, but an item from the movie ended up in Saskatchewan, Canada. And uh, bringing the honcho on the trailer behind the Dodge, we ended up here. And that is a piece of machinery that was dropped down in front of the truck on the highway in the scene where they were going after the F5 or getting away from the F5, so to speak. It says here, Twister, a 1996 movie written by Michael and Anne, starring Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton. Uh, apparently it's not a combine, it's a harvester. I don't know, I'm not a farmer, so I can't really tell you what the real name of it is, but um, the tornado was simulated causing the combine to spin and bounce around. Uh, this combine, as you see it, was purchased from a movie from the movie of Warner Bros. and Universal Pictures in Kansas. Combine was donated by Watcher Salvage Limited and moved to this site courtesy of Melron Services. Service Limited. Not much left, but then after a tornado, there wouldn't be. <laughs> so that's what's left. So it's hard to really tell which piece of machinery this was. If it was the one that the chute swung out and hit the windshield, or uh, if it ended up being one that was just dropped down in front of the truck. There was a lot of equipment that was dropped down in front of the truck from a helicopter. But that was probably one of the coolest things I could have done on this road trip to stop here and check this out. Definitely made the trip. Because I mean, someday that, that Jeep right there is going to be yellow with blue stripes and have a muscle grill and the proper push bar. And uh, it's going to look just like Joe's Jeep. And hopefully soon that truck is going to be painted red. I know it's a diesel and not a V10, but it works better for my application with the amount of driving that I'm going to do. So, <laughs> probably one of the coolest things. I'm so stoked about this. Like, this is in the movie Twister. I know it's just a piece of machinery, but... <sighs> That's so cool, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Shade Tree Mechanical. You can find him on YouTube. He's uh, an East Coast crazy guy like myself. That's Lloyd. We're gonna go get Rowdy in his Coronet now. <laughs> Sounds good to me, bud. Alrighty then. Well, you can, so you got a wrap round driveway then. <laughs> Holy shit. This is, this is the way you take when you're drinking. <laughs> So you get to work on the back road. Wicked. You know what's funny? I've never been in the passenger seat of a B-body sliding through a field. I've always yeah. been driving. Yeah. That's what you want to do. Now I don't know why you like this place. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, this would be the one night there's cops, too. <laughs> they only come around once in a while. Ready, but... <laughs> Wicked.
It's uh, it'll it'll do yeah, burnouts. I guarantee right you, if that thing didn't have, if it had any rings left in it at all, and we set the timing and put a white man carburetor on it, oh for sure, it'd probably be rowdy as hell. Well, you uh, you, you got that? <laughs> oh man, look at this car. How sick is that? Josh has got a couple of toys here. This one's no longer his. This one's going to be another rowdy unit. And if you can see that in the back, he's uh, that's going to be a race car here in about five weeks. So he's on the big crunch. So if you haven't heard of him before, Shade Tree Mechanical, I'll put a link to his YouTube in my bio. Or not my bio, but the description. <laughs> Or the bio, whatever you want to call it. Out I'm out of practice. I suck at YouTubing, so we're, we're we're just trying to film rowdy shit, and that's and that's basically where we're at. So, yeah, like look, this, this is the kind of person Josh is. All right, look, he's got his Harley sitting here, tires smoked right off it. The guy's a friggin' weapon, plain and simple. All right, that's it for here. We got a five-hour drive back home. We'll offload the truck tomorrow, and I'm done filming for tonight. So we'll see you in the morning.
use the phone camera. Where's the phone camera at? Yeah, let's use the phone camera. Wow. Well, well. You got it? Phone camera? Phone camera. Press that button. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. He comes out heavy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go wild, guys, and down there. Lucy's like, what's happening? Oh, yeah, Lucy's still in there. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is, they need to put a trigger on it so you can, uh, not. Whatever, it works. <laughs> <laughs> it won't stop. It's up.
spare in the back so the white writing on the top of it. That's why it fell probably the first oh, time? Probably, Did you yeah. have it up like this? Yeah, a little bit still up. Yeah, that'll do like that. All right, it's not exactly where I need it to be, but it's there. It's finally on its own tires in my driveway. That's a big 10-4. Well, anyhow, I don't know how well this is gonna edit together, but if you enjoyed this type of content, make sure you leave a thumbs up, drop a comment. That's all I ask. Even if you wanna drop a dislike, I don't care. It doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do more stuff like this in the future. Just random road trips, if we can find something cool to buy. And uh, see you later. And one more thing, if you guys like Pit Viper sunglasses, I don't know if you've been aware of this or not, but I've been working with them for about four years now. I got a discount code. The code is uh, charger69, gives you 10% off. So if you wanna go get yourself a set of Pit Vipers, they just came out with a bunch today. So uh, go check them out. Thanks for watching guys.